everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a pretty good day. I watched a, a lot of videos. I was in uh, Word Unscrambling on, on Wayne's, what was his channel name? I'll have to put it in writing across the front because I don't remember his name. And I also watched Bonnie's, Bar Bonnie's Bargains, yes, that's what her name was watched Bonnie's Bargains and she said she went for a walk today and she was showing her us around her where she lives. She mentioned to me in her video about how she, she when I mentioned that when you walk you should walk with intention and she was walking with intention and had her her head up high and her shoulders back and she was walking. To her. She could feel a lot more of her muscles being engaged in in this so she ended up with more uh, the walk actually exercised more parts of her body than you would have thought. Well I have a little video I want to put in here and we'll put it in right here. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of how I suve and what I use is I use this coffee it's an electric coffee maker I put water in there then I plug the coffee maker in only because I want to heat the water up quicker. Then I use a souve. This is a souve machine and you can put it in plastic um, containers. They, a lot of them are plastic containers with a cover and this would just drop down in. What I do is it's got max, minimum and maximum line. You just got to make sure the water's above the minimum and not above the maximum. So mine's kind of there. Then I plug that in And then on top, you can see it's got, it's got, um, you turn it on, and I want it at 140 degrees, and for two, two hours is what I want. And then you just push the start again, and it starts up, and now it's kind of moving the water. Then I take the meat. Usually I put it in a separate container, but I'm going to leave it like this because what I'll do is I'll drop it in and then after an hour I will flip it over and do the other side. But usually you drop them all in there. But I don't feel like it today. I just want to be a little lazy. Okay, that is how you souve. After it's been in the souve, you can take it out and this is what it looks like. It is all cooked, and because this is a sealed packet, I left it in there. Now it will go into the frying pan. You can leave it in, actually, you can leave it in here until you're ready to fry it. It's not gonna cook anymore. It just holds it at that temperature. It says end, it's done. It's done. It just will hold at this temperature, probably. That's why a lot of restaurants use it, because they can hold cooked food for many hours without it overcooking. Also, I had unplugged the, when the, when the, when the souve reached the temperature, I unplugged the coffee maker. That's, I only plug that in just to help the water heat up quicker for it. Just you don't so have to use you that. You don't have to use that. You can use a regular container without, I just happened, this is what I just happened to use. And then I'll, unpl I'll unplug it because it's, it's, I'm going to cook it soon. When it comes out of the souve, this is what it looks like before you fry this side. I'm frying it in the cast iron frying pan. You can cook it out on a grill if you wish, but I do mine in the house. This is the juice that comes out of it. And what I do with this is I will make like a pretend gravy out of it. I don't add any flour, but I will cook it, and we'll put it over the meat. After about four minutes, I turn it, five minutes, I turn it, and then I'll let it go another four to five minutes on this side, depending on the thickness as to how you cook it and how you like it. Now the juice is getting um, dark. It was red, if you noticed. It was real red-looking. Now it's dark, and it... You just, whoa, that's hot. 
you just stir it up a little bit. And when it comes to a boil, it's pretty much done. Because you just want to cook, whoops, it's steaming. You just want to cook it till it's cooked. And this will be the juice that we'll put over the meat. A lot of you have wondered about sous vide cooking, and my daughter goes, isn't it said sous vide? And I says, I don't know, it's spelled funny. It's got a funny spelling, but we always say sous vide. And I use, I happen to use the coffee, the electric coffee pot. You don't have to. I just, that's what I happen to use because that works well with whatever I'm cooking. Usually they use a container that is plastic with a lid and it's got a hole cut out so that their little device that you set down into the water can fit there and the cover is on so it keeps the heat in. That's, and Jim mentioned also that restaurants use it, which they do. That's how you get your food so fast. Because if you order something that's different than somebody else's, and it's the meat is pretty much already cooked. All you have to do is put the color onto it. So that's what I was basically doing, is putting the color on with, uh, with it. And if you noticed, I put it in there frozen. You don't have to thaw it. And a lot of times I don't even know what I'm cooking till I'm about to cook it. So that's perfect for me. My little broody hen that I thought was broody and I think was broody, she laid an egg today, so she definitely can come out tomorrow. I will let her out of the cage. She is, if, when they lay the egg, then you know they're definitely out of the broodiness if they were in broody. And then I'll have to see if the rooster leaves her alone because she's the one that the rooster wasn't being nice to. We had lost Louise because of that, and I don't want to lose another hen because of that rooster not liking her. But Louise is doing very well. I should go visit her just to mm -hmm. show you, but I haven't. He said that she lays an egg every now and then. She's not laying one every day, but she is one of my older hens. She's one of the hens I got when I got Emma and a few of the other buffs. So she's up in years, and but she's still laying, hen, laying eggs, laying hens. <laughs> she's still laying eggs, and she's doing well, he said. She's still a very nice hen. Well, I, that is it for today. I hope you all had a great day and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye. Um, what? Ne next week, or during the week, you'll be doing all of these by yourself. Oh, I Because I won't be here. I know. I will. I will have to do them earlier. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Do them before I leave. Yeah. Well, now, goodbye. <laughs>